Uh, let's move on. So we've seen this uh, minimum variance portfolio. Let's move on to the to the equal weight portfolio, equal risk weighted portfolio. So this one. Uh, so it's slightly different uh, in the approach. So whether before we were a combination that was minimizing the the variance of that portfolio over a certain rolling period. Here, what we're going to do is again compute the same uh, variance covariance matrix, but rather than do selecting the portfolio with the um, uh, lowest variance, what we're going to do is we are going to select the portfolio that uh, is composed of equal risk contribution. So risk contribution means weighted volatility, basically, of your underlying asset, and we are going to give the same weight to each underlying asset in terms of volatility in your portfolio. Uh, if you want obviously more information, again, uh, you can go on the wiki here and look exactly how it's being computed. Uh, we have also put a, a bit of uh, uh, notations in order to understand uh, what's happening behind the scenes, but just intuitively for, for, the, for this webinar. Uh, the idea is to get the same amount of risk uh, from each underlying asset. So this will basically contribute to uh, the same amount of risk. So one third of the risk, this will contribute to one third of the risk, and this will contribute to one third of the risk. And then we'll rebalance this through time to, uh, to get the same amount of risk at every period. Again, we are rolling forward. Uh, on a yearly basis, so 250 period. And again, we are going to use the minimum rebalancing frequency uh, function so that we make sure that we don't have too many rebalancing and that this is not dragging our performance. So we can run that and we'll check what uh, performance we get from it. So again, uh, to uh, just to, to enter a bit more into what this uh, ERC is doing. Um, we need, again, to, uh, to do the same computation as what we did for minimum bar, uh, which is to compute uh, all these uh, this part of um, the matrix, uh, the variance covariance matrix. And then rather than, uh, than computing the, com the combination of, uh, of uh, variance and volatility at the end of the day, uh, giving us uh, the minimum variance, we are making sure that each asset has the same weight in terms of variance in our portfolio. Do we have uh, the basket generated? It's on its way. Okay, so we're back here, line 91. And we are uh, just waiting for the basket to happen. Um, this function is already is already uh, optimized. Uh, it takes a bit more time when it's composed. So each time we have the composition here, the computation time takes slightly longer. But uh, it's already pretty optimized, so it's better if you use already what uh, the, the functions we have already put together for you. Uh, it's going to be slightly uh, more efficient. What do we have? We have a slightly uh, slightly lower uh, return, annual return, than uh, what we had for a minimum variance. Uh, and we have uh, a slightly lower sharp as well, so the volatility of the portfolio uh, might be slightly higher. Uh, however, we have a similar drawdown. So that's, um, I have a question here of the three underlying uh, I'm not too sure what you mean by that, Hyang. What do you call several strategies instead of the three underlying? Do you, you talk about single strategies, meaning you create one strategy on TY, one strategy on US high yield, and one strategy on bank, and then feed them to the equal risk weighted portfolio? Is that what the question being? Just let me know in the chat, and I'll, uh, I'll come back uh, to you then. Yeah, yeah. So I think I understood correctly your question. Yeah. So this is exactly what you you can do is create a strategy, a single asset strategy on each of them, 
and then combine them into one single portfolio. So let's imagine here that you have, I don't know, uh, your strategy on TY, okay? You are going to compose it with Algo Engine. Okay, this is the uh, function to create single strategies. And then maybe you can uh, apply a simple uh, email across uh, payout, okay? So once you have applied this payout, you want it to be, uh, sorry. This will come from uh, get alpha ton BB, and you said you want TY, and you want the price here. So this will correctly apply this payout. Let me just go here so that we can read. The long period, I don't know, you want to apply it to a yearly, and the short period, you want it to be two months. Okay, so here we are constructing a single asset strategy on the TY. You need to pipe this here to uh, evaluate. So here you have composed a single asset strategy, okay? that you will probably need to assign to this here. So here I'm creating the single asset strategy with TY, uh, which you obviously can as a single asset strategy backtest. Okay. So you can backtest it to give you quite quickly uh, an answer about what you're doing. Uh, here we go. Please keep in mind that uh, the, the competition is long only. So here, EMEA cross, you need to add the long only, uh, long only parameter. Sorry, it's a bit long, so let me just go to the line. So if we run that again, we have uh, this. Okay, so now we have our single strategy on TY that is long only, which we can see, uh, should be, be able to see on the back test by this flat line, yeah, that's long only. Um, okay, so now we have our single asset strategy, and here I can replace, I can replace uh, my TY by my strat on TY. Here we go. So now I'm composing, I'm, I'm using uh, portfolio that is using equal rate, equal risk weighted, sorry, equal risk weighted uh, payout, okay, uh, with an optimization of the number of rebalancing. But this time, the input is one single strategy, and the two other ones are uh, the asset, raw assets, let's call them. Uh, and then you can backtest that. So I hope that uh, that's answering your question. Obviously, if it's if it's feasible for uh, yeah. if it's feasible for one for one asset, it's feasible for all three. Yeah? So you can have three strategies uh, as input. Uh, this is exactly what we would do in the in terms of how you would uh, do that for the competition. You would want to uh, probably submit this as an individual strategy for us, and then. Uh, use this strategy within your portfolio. It's just in terms of uh, in terms of process. So now that we have our new our new portfolio, which is using one single asset strategy and two underlying, uh, we have launched the backtest. Hopefully, we will see that here popping up in a second. It is here. It's not changing too much. However, uh, I think we lost a bit in terms of. The, the yearly returns have been lost slightly uh, also in terms of sharp ratio. Go down, it's pretty similar. So you can see here that it's correctly been uh, applied to our underlying. I'm not sure that's a great strategy. Uh, it's been uh, <laughs> probably not the best, but this is exactly what you should do. It's compose, uh, compose single asset strategies and then use portfolio payout is one uh, efficient way to make sure that your your uh, 
your submission and your portfolio strategy is optimal. Uh, you have actually uh, um, given me a, a great transition, Kyung, uh, because uh, this was basically what this last bit of the, the webinar was about, is how do we mix up um, existing payouts. 